Welcome to Illustrator Final Part 2, Posters. So you're going to make three abstract posters. I'm going to talk a little bit about vernacular and the importance of vernacular for this project. So we're going to talk about visual vernacular uh, to communicate more than a simple interest in the combination of color and patterns. Visual vernacular, instead, it kind of empowers a deeper meaning and alludes to a style, a belief system, geographic region, time period, cultural directions, and there's many other ideas in this. So I'm, I put some pictures together about some cultural uh, visual systems that I see at Coney Island in particular and the way the typography is used. This is communicating an idea of fun and playful. Fashion does the same thing. Marc Jacobs has a very different look. It has this uh, kind of retro uh, vibe. Paul Clay has his way of deconstructing and communi communicating imagery. The vernacular is all over the place, everywhere we look. So all these candies kind of stay in the same vernacular um, conversation except for the one in the far corner uh, that's a soap pad. So it doesn't make sense to be a part of these. It has bright colors and maybe it could be a candy, but this is a soap pad. It doesn't stay within the juicy, flowy, crunchy uh, playfulness that a candy bar has. So there's definitely a way of communicating. What is your vernacular? We're still talking about the candy bar. I want you to take all the pieces from outlining this label and create an abstract poster. When you do this, think about the candy. The vernacular that I showed you of all the different ways the candy has been illustrated. What is similar? How can you take the candy to the next level? in an abstract way. Think about composition, think about repetitiveness, think about pattern, all these aspects that we've been doing in the past lessons. This is an example of an abstract poster from a Skittles wrapper. I want you to show me all the skills from all the lessons as much as you can, but also keep in mind that Iska should be some aesthetic beauty to it. There should be movement to it. Uh, hence why we've been working with playfulness and rhythm. Uh, this should also work into these posters. Go and find this Illustrator file that you've been working on and make sure that you've gone to your layers and unlocked everything and deleted the image of the Good and Plenty. And we're just going over how to resave this file into the final part two and to build your artboards. File save it as part two. Make sure you don't save over and make sure this is Illustrator and not PDF. So it needs to be Illustrator final part two, your last name, Illustrator. Make sure this is selected correctly. Then save it. Hit OK. And just double check that you have it saved correctly because you don't want to do all this work and realize that it's already it's saved as a PDF. Next step is we're going to make three artboards because you're going to stay with this uh, size 11 by 17 and you're going to create three more posters using uh, the pieces that you outlined. Go to artboard. If you don't see artboard over here, remember that you can always find artboard up in Windows. Go to artboard, open it up, and this page is one artboard. To create another artboard, you could just click on here and it'll create a blank page. But to speed this up, what you can do is you can actually grab the artboard and drag it over our little piece of paper that's folded on the edge and it'll duplicate it. So remember, you're going to use each of these little parts you've created into a poster and into an abstract poster. So you need all the pieces for each poster. So just copy three artboards. Call this artboard one, two, and three. And I want each one of these posters to be distinctly different than the other one. I don't want three small variations. I want it to be very different 
from the other version. The other thing I want to do is I want to spread this out. They're way too close together. Go to the hamburger on the side, on the right side, click on it and go to arrange all artboards. So this is going to make it into rows, which I think isn't a bad idea. So these are all different ways to line it up in a grid. So I'm just going to have it go in one downward column, actually, two inches on the top. So let's do two, I-N. Just make sure it's inches and then hit OK. All right, so you have your three artboards, you have plenty of space, and then you'll, what you'll do is you'll select all your pieces that you made and you'll pull it to the side and then you'll begin to take apart and redesign image of this candy bar. Remember, it's abstract. So this part is just rapidly showing how you break apart the image to start laying out each of these posters with all the content. So each poster should break apart these forms you've made by outlining and then place them uniquely and differently for each of them. All right, so you have broken all these apart and you've created for each label a poster. Now let's get to saving. So the first thing you want to do is do file save as and we're going to save this file into that folder remember that folder that we talked about in the last class that you made into a package you need to save it back into that folder so let's save that illustrator file in there i want to be able to see the original file i want to see how you built these hit ok and then i want you to save it as a pdf so save as again back into that folder and we're saving it as a pdf this is part two. And then you don't need any of these except for save after. And you want to make sure all three are done and completed. So they all should be in this project folder. So this is that first folder that I made you do where you package it. You can still see that reports there. You'll have the AI one, um, the AI final one. You'll have the AI final one PDF. You'll have the AI final two illustrator file and the AI final to PDF. I need all four of these. It's fine if you keep the report in, but you must have all four of these in this folder. So you to do that, you go back to the folder that you have it in the folder. So I start here. I can find that folder. Remember, it has all everything I need. And we're going to make a zip, right? Compress AI. And you can see here it has created this final folder. This is the folder I need. It needs to be all four projects. If I do not have a zip file, I will not grade it. If this is not completed on time, you cannot participate in the critique. No exceptions. I can't wait to see all your great designs.